There is fascinating history all around us, in almost every corner of America, in places you'd least expect it, and often right under your feet. But you don't often get to hear about this hidden history. Well, that's where I come in. I'm gonna visit famous sites all over the country, ambush tourists, there's been a slight change of plans, and take over their tour. I'm gonna take them to places they never knew existed, who died down here, that aren't so inviting, clean, do not touch but anything, or easy to get into. Just follow me. Holy shit. It's not just a tour, it's an adventure. Bang! <laughs> I'm at the Sam Adams Brewery in Boston, Massachusetts, and behind me is a group of tourists all gathered here for the 11 a.m. tour. I'm gonna go over to this group and take them on a tour of my own. All right, let's do this. Who's here for the 11 a.m. tour of the brewery? For a group of you, everything has changed. You'll climb into the tour jack van and we'll be going on an exciting new tour. Who wants to be tour jacked? Are you guys together? Anyone back here? I have a question. Yes? Will there be beer on that? There floor? will be booze involved. <laughs> I like these two. You're yes. in. Let's climb on the van. Let's go, folks. This is going to be a bumpy ride. Let's roll. Let's do it. All right, let's go. Hard to imagine there was a time in America when it was illegal to drink. During Prohibition. That's right. Now, why would we even be in Boston anyways to talk about booze? What is special about Boston? The sea. It's close uh -huh. to the ah, Right. Yeah. One of the biggest yeah. ports yes. in the east, yeah. right? Yes. Yep. And we're also very close to our neighbors. Canada. Canada. Very oh. nice. We're going to be talking about this guy, Charles Solomon, a.k.a. King Solomon. There's a reason he was called the king. This guy changed the history of organized crime in America forever. If it weren't for him, there may never have been a Whitey Bulger. From running rum, to selling drugs, to pimping prostitutes, Solomon ruled the city. By the time he was 46, he was worth an estimated $14 million. But it all came crashing down on January 24th, 1933. We're taking you today to the spot where King Solomon was gunned down. Oh, wow. It's that building on the corner. Oh, the one that's boarded up. That's where we're going? We're going in there? <laughs> yeah. We're going in that shithole? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cotton Club. Now, you have to think of this place in the 20s as being like a glamorous club. And it was more specifically a speakeasy, a place for all kinds of gangster activity going on here. Frequented by people like Fly Boots Charlie. You want to go in? Yeah. This is the way in. <laughs> I don't have a key, but I actually have something better. We have contacted the owner, and he has said that it's okay to go in. Oh, yeah. This is an historic riddle wrapped in the lawsuit. So just, just be very careful. I was just contemplating one myself. Do you, which way do you think? Follow the pipes, it'll go to a kitchen. Yeah, that way. Jerry, there are pipes everywhere. I know. Okay, here we go, folks. Watch your step. Right, this I, like this presumably would be the kitchen. This is, this is definitely it. Oh, yeah, Come Eureka, on, we have found it. Oh, my God. A, a lacking in its original grandeur, nonetheless. Wow. Still pretty cool, yeah. right? This is awesome. <laughs> so it, clearly, someone has been in here doing work since oh, the Cotton good. Club closed. And look at this. And then so there's like a. Original ceramic. I'm going to turn this on. So the layout of this place was pretty basic. Wooden tables with white tablecloths and curtains. But after midnight, it really came to life. So picture this, 1930s, you have like live music playing. It'd be a piano, you'd have singers, musicians playing, you know, jazz standards. Mm -hmm. And there would have been people dancing. Solomon probably had his last couple of dances right where we're standing. But the question is, where was the King City? King's Last Supper would have been right around here. Who yep, else is yep, in the okay. room that night? Well, unfortunately, there was also another group of gangsters that was already there. They were Skeets, Coin, John Burke, Scully. So those are the guys that took out the king, which led to a 50-year turf war in Boston. And this is the room where it all happened. So tell me about this picture. 
This is one of the crime scene photos. These photographs are, I mean, they're really sterile. I mean, there's no dead bodies anywhere. I there are no I, 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 I want to talk about this guy, Fly Boots Charlie. So he was actually a Russian immigrant, Jewish. And then when Prohibition came around, he got into rum running and bootlegging. He owned theaters and nightclubs yeah. throughout the city. He owned the Coconut Grove. The Coconut Grove was one of the biggest nightclub fires in American history. After that fire, you know, the codes changed to make sure that there are swinging doors by revolving doors. So I'm sure you're all dying to know just how the murder went down. Okay. Let's set this up. Okay. You're going to be babe one. And awesome. uh, Simon's going right. to be babe two. Like yeah. Let's give you a, a chair here. Sit next to me, And then he's seated here. He's got his two ladies over there. Look at them. Was it this obvious? I mean, with them glaring at us now. I mean, seriously. That, I mean, that's exactly uh, the could distance. Could they have been a little more subtle about it? <laughs> then what happened? He got up to use the washroom. The wise guys start following him. So I'm going in here. He goes in alone. Yep. His bodyguards don't go with him. One of the wise guys guards the door. And what's overheard is scuffle in the bathroom. Solomon saying, you have my money, what else do you want? Then shots rang out. Maybe it's just a robbery gone awry. Mm -hmm. But a lot of other people think it was a much more orchestrated assassination mm -hmm. on King Solomon, especially before he testified. I can bring up my Hey. Are oh, we for, is this? that for real? Are the cops coming uh, or something? Not that I know of. <laughs> I'm gonna get the door. Brother Cleve, hey, my friend. How are I'm you? I'm so glad you're here. Oh, Thank you too. Come, Come on in. in. Everybody, this is Brother Cleve. He's going to talk about some of the Prohibition cocktails and maybe treat us to a little something from that era. But before you do that, mm -hmm. we need to finish our tale of Fly Boots Charlie. His funeral was attended by thousands. The power vacuum that was left was filled by Italian-American gangsters. To go after the Italians, the FBI used Irish informants such as the Winter Hill Gang and Whitey Bulger. So if Solomon hadn't been killed, Bulger may never have risen to prominence. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I need a drink. Let's imagine it's still prohibition. What would you make for us? The Ward 8. Give me a Ward 8. Oh, sure. Ward 8 for everyone. I heard the government had actually poisoned alcohol during prohibition. Is that true? That, no. is, uh, that is completely true. Uh, really? Yes. Really? Yes. Your government killed citizens. Uh, at least 10,000 have known wow. to have uh, been killed. During prohibition, were there phrases that came out of that era? The word scofflaw, for instance. Boston Herald had a contest to come up with a, a word that would describe a person who was still drinking illegal alcohol, and uh, that was the, the winning entry. Okay, please. We're ready to receive the Ward 8. And we are obligated to make a toast to the memory of Fly Boots Charlie. And uh, let's not forget uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, after the repeal of Prohibition, said, I think America needs a drink right now. How are you? Yeah. Yeah. I Cheers love that. that. Cheers. Okay, this is it. Everybody off, watch your step. Hey, good, good, good. Hurry, hurry, hurry. All right. See that? That's where we're going. No, oh my God. Oh. Wait. Does anyone have a flashlight that works? Or oh, is this where most of the fighting happened? Hey, everybody, just three more flights, okay? I feel like there's bugs everywhere, there's, there's snakes. Please there's... watch your head, watch your head. Okay. You're not afraid of heights, oh, are you gosh, guys? Gosh. They would fly into Logan and they would see Kennedy here and be reminded whom to vote for. 